the year 1990, the place, York. In the vibrant musical landscape of the 1990s, Gordon and Nick set out on a sonic adventure armed with little more than a drum machine, guitars, and a four-track recorder. Dave joined the ranks shortly after, bringing his rhythm to the mix. The result? The birth of the Bedbugs and the creation of their first tracks, echoing through the underground scene with their debut cassette, Dandelion Days. Dandelion Days the Bedbugs' early gigs in York became legendary, but the lineup saw changes with Dave's departure. Briefly replaced by Tony, while Paul entered the fold on guitar. Undeterred by lineup shifts, the bed bugs persisted, experimenting with drum machines until Dan's arrival solidified their sound. By 1991, they returned to the studio for their second release, Daisy's Chains, followed by Why Can't Monsters Be Pretty, featuring the ethereal backing vocals of Jam. As their fan base continued to grow, 1992 marked a turning point for the band as the Bedbugs inked a deal with TSR Management, unleashing their fourth release, Shudder, in February, as well as their debut single, Fused, in November the same year. The EP catapulted them onto national stages, sharing billings with iconic acts like The Wedding Present, Dodgy, The New Fast Automatic Daffodils, and Doctor and the Medics. But as success bloomed, so did changes within the band. In 1993, Paul departed, finding fame with Shed 7, while the Bedbugs reinvented themselves as a trio. Studio sessions birthed unreleased gems, but by 1994, the journey reached its twilight as Dan bid adieu, making way for Kev on drums. In a final flourish, the Bedbugs returned to the studio to immortalize their fan favorite, Bogeyman, before bidding farewell in early 95, leaving behind a legacy of infectious tunes and untold tales waiting to be rediscovered. Yeah.